Today on the Droids, we're here to remind you that we still exist. It's the Droid Boys Summer this week on the Droids. Welcome back to. to <laughs> Oops. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? I was gonna say I was trying to do like a Beach Boys thing. I like. Oh, yeah. okay. We like we we could do a seven part harmony. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. That yeah, was my. So, um, welcome to the droids. You're looking for a Star Wars podcast. It's a loosey goosey episode, as we called it. That's that's what we're naming this permutation. We we were going. Listen, we listen, everybody. We we're here for you. We we're, we got up early to record the last chapters of the light of the jedi i know you've been waiting it's been six months since the release (laughs) and we're finally finishing it up i know that uh you know starwars.com did a story about this we've been talking to the new york times about doing a story about this how how one podcast can drag out one thing for so long we had some (laughs) technical snafus yeah and so chris and i are here to remind you that the droids we know we've been gone for a few weeks it's summer baby right yeah what are are, baby what are we? Peter Jackson's The Hobbit? Explain that? Well, because we're dragging out a short I story see. over yes. a long... Well, I see, yes. We, what are we? Peter Jackson's The Hobbit? <laughs> um, <laughs> we we took a few bye weeks just because, you know, things are busy. It's summer. Chris got stuck at the beach. I'm still there. <clears throat> Chris went on a surf, <laughs> surf and safari. <laughs> and he he had trouble he had the passport issues and he couldn't get my back from is, the surf and safari my hair is bleach blonde um so so we're back we're here to remind you that the droids are still here we have not discontinued the podcast no. of course despite we, no, the rumors nothing, despite i know that listen i've seen droids pod twitter it's been circulating around um but no here's a here's a great reminder i i was on mean book club this week Great fun. Go check out the Mean Book Club podcast. Right. Um, we'll be doing a wrap up of the entire Bad Batch season eventually mm-hmm. when we've all watched it. Here's the other thing, Chris. Yes. We don't have kids, but two of the droid droid boys do. <laughs> right. And so we'll throw from them what under I the understand, <laughs> it takes a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. They're busy hey, men. What? They're... How are you, Chris? Hey, you know what? I'm just sitting on the couch doing nothing, to be honest, and. I think <laughs> um, I'm doing well. It's just like you said. It's summer. It's hard to get everyone's schedules together. So we just wanted to let everyone know. Also, the gods of technology are just not on our side this morning. Um, They're not. But uh, uh, we just want to let everyone know we're still there for you. Um, I mean, there's a lot going on in the Star Wars world. I feel like usually there's slow times, and then some. All of a sudden, like little stories start to build up, and then mm-hmm. boom, it's Star Wars season again. And then we're talking about it every week. Um, I think Bad Batch is going well. I'm really enjoying that. I'm very I, much enjoying it as well. Uh, there's a, there's a. I like in the Star Wars universe that every like three months they have to bring up the debate of Last Jedi and the Rise of Skywalker. Or the, yes. All of a sudden, there's like a new think piece. Um, so there's a Kelly lot. Kelly Marie the, Tran recently defended the Canto Bite sequence, which yep. I I obvi- I agree with her, hey. and we have defended the Canto Bite sequence on this podcast. You you could not take my defense even farther than it already is. <laughs> um, love that scene, um, but yeah. So I, I mean, I think there's now a new push. It's like the same news over and over. Uh, Mick Solo two happen again. It's all it's all coming together. Oh I right, J uh, J Abrams admitted that he had some regrets about <laughs> that. He he admits that the rise of Skywalker and the and the plan for the whole trilogy maybe could have been coordinated a little better. Right. Wow. What news? Well, I mean, I think the the biggest news to happen in our, our brief hiatus too, though, is is Dave Filoni is now the executive creative director at Lucasfilm. Yes, um, Dave Filoni. The the internet exploded for a little bit because Dave Filoni's title change was made official, yeah. which is really funny because it was more of like an HR issue. It seemed <laughs> exactly they were like he's he's been doing the same job this whole time. They just right. officially changed his title, which makes it sound like they were like we're waiting for some paperwork to go through. We got to wait for <laughs> exactly. some money to free up. Exactly. Well, they wanted um, to hire his position, so they had to free up the title, his old position. <laughs> right. So, so that I mean, it's 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 obviously we knew that he he had a huge creative input over there but it's great to see that it's official obviously we're feloni fans over here 
He's been doing great work in the yeah. Star Wars universe. Absolutely. So, As, yeah, we got what he's doing. Boba Fett. He's doing Mandalorian. He's doing. I think he's show running Ahsoka. Wow. And then we, you know, we have all the all the series coming up. Obi Wan is knee deep in in sand at this point. You know, in production <laughs> yeah. out there, I believe. That keeps in Boston, more more Ireland. Is that what it is? Yes, Boston. <laughs> in Boston, Ireland. Yeah, they're not. Um, uh, they're not doing it in the. Uh, they're the not Bruins filming it at Fanduel Hall. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a good, better reference. I said well, what Bruins were you going to say? I said the Bruins Stadium. Is that the a... Bruins Stadium? <laughs> the... <laughs> at the hockey stadium. <laughs> Every city um, has a hockey stadium. I believe it's the the TD Garden oh. Arena. I lived I lived in Boston for a oh. year. There you I go. passed it all the time. Wow, and that's why you pay for this Patreon content to get those. This is, wait, oh, this is a not for pay episode. Well, no, but, well, this is a pay, but you, hey, you got it for free. <laughs> Whoever is listening to this, you got it for free. You, you, you're naughty out there getting this for free. And also, you, you're really getting. So don't complain about the quality of the episode. It costs money, <laughs> and you're getting it for free. <laughs> I feel like we're like we're telethoning this. We're we're trying to pack it all in. We're it's trying just, to pack. We have no requirement for a, a length on this episode, but we're no. trying to get as much information out there. It's really um, to beat some kind of algorithm. But um, do we have do we have any other big plans for the droids? Um, well, I mean, I think first off, if you're on social media. At Droids Pod on Twitter, at Droids Pod on Instagram, uh, the Droids You're Looking For podcast on Facebook. Uh, you can email us droidspod at, at gmail dot com. But also, if you just want some droids, like see what we've done, the work we've done, go to droidspod dot com. Um, you'll see some beautiful artwork by by Droids Own Sam, but you'll also see collections of episodes, uh, our rewatches, our Mandalorian recaps, the High Republic up until this point. Um, so if you aren't caught up, this is your official warning to get caught up. And you can do that by going to droidspod.com. There's also a neat little email sign up there, um, some other things. And I think, like, we'd be a mess if we didn't mention the droids are extending their R2-D2 Lego <clears throat> giveaway. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, we are still accepting submissions. Explain yes. this to the people, Chris. Yeah, so... All you got to do is you leave us a review, and and maybe you know what if you leave us a review, maybe shoot us a note that you left us a review, um, yeah. with a little maybe a screenshot or the, the the text itself. But let us know that you left a review, and what we're going to do for the month of June, and we've done it for the month of May as well, is we're going to collect all these uh, reviews that we receive in this time period, and then we're going to select one at random, so it's just going to be randomly selected to win the coveted mm-hmm. Lego R two D two set. Now, if you look this up. It's got some value. Um, I'm not going to put a. I'm not going to put a monetary thing on it because I know the price of Bitcoin changes um, on a dime. <laughs> so, but just know you might want to snatch this thing up before yeah. we realize that it's worth. Before it skyrockets yeah. to a, a exactly. value that we no yeah. longer can give it away. All of a sudden, we're going to be wearing gold R two D twos pretty soon. <laughs> so <laughs> you don't want to be in that position. So send <laughs> us, leave the review, send us an email at droidspod at gmail dot com. Yes, mm-hmm. that's it. And also BCC everyone at Lucasfilm.com. <laughs> and so that'll really get the word out yeah. there. What is it, like George at Lucasfilm.com? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's just George at Lucasfilm.com. Do you think when he sold it that they, like he went to sign into his email to send a goodbye email and it had been deactivated? Oh, oh. But like as he signed it, some IT guy was like, beep. <laughs> yep, exactly. He goes, I'll go to Slack and say goodbye to everybody. The, I yeah. had all the ideas for oh. Indiana Jones 7 in <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah, like... Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you how it ended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bounce so back. So make sure you do that. So Droids Pod BCC, not CC, everyone yeah. at Lucasfilm.com. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want the employees to know each other's email addresses. Right. <laughs> and we don't want to be on the email that sends like, just so everybody knows, the everyone alias is only used for emergencies. <laughs> um, Do not reply all. You boys talking Star Wars over here? Whoa, there we My go. See, this, he came. This. That shot was one in a million, wow. kid. Let's let's blow this thing and get home. <laughs> uh, Mike, oh, just yeah. reminding people, uh, 
that they should write us a review to win the R two D two. There's been an extension on the deadline. Yes, there um, has. So so now we we have thousands of of uh, submissions. We want tens of thousands. Um, so they're sending a, a they're doing a review. They're sending a note to droidspod at gmail dot com, and they're BCCing everyone at lucasfilm dot com. <laughs> um, so. That's it. That's Droid, what's going on, Mike. We, we covered summer. that. We covered that we're going to be finishing up the book soon. Perfect. We covered the coverage from Vulture about that. Um, we're going to do a season wrap up of the Bad Batch when that finishes up. Whenever you know people watch it, whoever watches it. And uh, do you have anything you'd like to add about what's I, going on in the droids world? You know, I, I I think Chris, have you gotten into the Mara Jade rumors yet? That's my question. Oh wow, no. I mean. Is there time? Everyone sit down, <laughs> grab your popcorn. There's some rumors doing around. So the newest rumors are that Mara Jade's coming back. Who's uh, playing Luke? Luke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's his name? Alden I, Aaron. What's his name? Yeah, no. Alden Aaron. Alden Aaron, Aaron yeah, yeah. Luke, yeah. too. <laughs> He'll be Luke as well. Um, yeah, there's, there's some rumors stewing around. I mean, of course... They can't leave that alone. <laughs> are there rumors of specific actors, or is it just that they are casting Mara Jade? I've heard that they are casting a Mara Jade. And it might just be like a one-shot episode, I wonder. Do you think just... it'll be like a really age-inappropriate per- It'll be like Mark <laughs> Hamill and Amanda Seyfried? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, but, but, like, I understand that she had an expanded universe role and that people yeah. were into Mara Jade. But yeah. is it... It's not like right now what Disney seems to be doing is building out, you know, things that they feel like can fit in with the current story and almost the timeline of yeah. Mandalorian Plus, right? Well, with the exception yep. of the Andor series, so I guess maybe Andor you could go back. But it's almost, I don't know, where does she fit in? Does she fit yeah. in? And, and if, I, if she does, how do you fit her in without Luke? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I think that's why Luke is a clone. The other rumor um, and, I think... and that's why Sebastian Stan just looks a little bit different. Yes, they're exactly. saying now the rumor is that Luke, that a version of Luke is a clone, or that Luke that we know is a clone. Well, it could go either way. I don't know who the clone is, but I, I think it's all kind of part of the, the this parallel to parallel the sequel trilogy. Is my thinking is what. But this they're... isn't so. The this isn't. A, I'm going to throw out a reference that may yeah. mean nothing to you guys, but it'll mean something to someone out there. This isn't like a Ben Riley Peter Parker thing where it's like there's a clone Luke and the original Luke and we don't know who is who. There there may be speculation that Luke himself was a clone. Correct. Gotcha. And I now, did not get the reference. Uh, look up the the Spider-Man <laughs> yeah, clone get, saga. People I'm, I'm are still debating it. <laughs> out um, of context clues, I feel like is it that moment yeah. where Spider Man's pointing at each other? Is that that? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So no, but I, I think there might be some alternate universe. It, it seemed like Disney at first was like, "Oh, this uh, expanded universe stuff." No thanks. They put it, and then all of a sudden, someone's like, "Hey, there's some pretty cool things here." And yeah, it's and they were like, done. "Well, listen." They were like counting their three billion dollars of, <laughs> yeah. of box office, and they were like, "Yeah, yeah let's do that too." Yeah, yeah, no, yeah exactly, exactly. And you know what? Fine. I've made peace. We got the last Jedi. I've made peace with the sequel trilogy in terms yeah. of how it ended. Sure. And and I say that you know, but when we talk about it next week, I'll be furious again. <laughs> but you know what? If they want to yeah. go back and do EU stuff, it's more Star Wars. That's cool, baby. I want to. Yeah. I'd like to see Amara Jade, and then I, I get I, to read a bunch yeah. about Mara Jade and how yeah. people are so mad about Mara Jade. <laughs> and then we keep, get the keep the podcast going. Exactly. Really, now at this point, we just need enough Star Wars content to keep pro- proliferating so we can just keep this going. Right, is, so we can keep this term? money train rolling, baby. <laughs> what is that term, and I think I've brought it up in the podcast before, where it's like you have you know everything about a certain subject? As in, like there, it's not like otaku or something like that, but I, I can't remember it was years ago that I read an article about like completists, and then they know every single thing about this one area. And I'll have to look up the term and share it up again. But it's like we talked about on the podcast how now, if you want, you could spend all of your entertainment time yeah. just in Star Wars. Yeah, right. Yeah. And if and you that's know the term Mike is looking for, email droidspod <laughs> at gmail.com, BCC everyone at lucasfilm.com. Yeah. You're doing an incredible job of what we like to call the call to action, Ryan. Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. Doing old CTA here the at the CTAs. end. Wow. 
But re- yeah. do do the review first before the we can look up the definition. We can't fake a review. <laughs> and by the way, think, for those of you who gave yeah. a review by just giving us stars, thank you very much. It's very hard for us to track your entry by just stars. So, again, tip of the old cat from the droids, but you, please write something to help right. us out. <laughs> we can't yeah. follow the star. You know, this isn't a oh, wow. two follow stars the star. to the left and straight on till Ooh. morning. Oh, I like, there we go. But, but you know what? Right? Follow the stars. Doesn't that sound inspirational? Yeah, or like, listen, we're not Tom DeLonge. We're not the To the Stars Academy. We can't follow everything up there. <laughs> or so you or send us are, an email. We, are we Bowen and Dragonheart? And, and we've got, wow. you know, Draco. What, is it Draco? Is that Con- Sean Connery's dragon name? Dragon. Isn't it wild that Sean Connery was just like in a dragon movie? <laughs> With, but, but like, is Dennis he, Quaid in that movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But he's Bowen. And it's, and it's the <laughs> final line is from Sean Connery is like, to the yeah. stars, Bowen, to the stars. And, yeah. then, and then does and then the, you get the, music, does the dragon incredible. go to space? Yeah, he becomes mm-hmm. a he becomes a uh, constellation. Right. No. Oh yeah. Oh, you haven't seen this. Also, hashtag, one of, hashtag wow. one of the best, for Dragonheart. Yeah. One really. of the best scores of all time. And David what Fluis is in it, and he's like <clears throat> you just hate him as a bad guy. He's a rare Professor good Lupin himself. Yeah. Oh, he's incredible. It's a I great movie. Him. Wow. If you learned anything from this episode. I do love Which him I as an actor. I don't. I, I. I. You got to be careful. I don't know if there's anything problematic about him. Yeah. So I can't. I can't endorse everything he's done as a person. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you won't endorse his actions in Dragonheart. That's for sure. Yeah, that is one hundred percent. Say sure. that. That's say a, that again. That's a VHS <laughs> ripper. Back in the day, I have that thing so worn in. It's like <laughs> making that sound. Well, we we are very excited. I'm I'm just it's a pleasure to be back and talking with uh, talking on the Star Wars on Droids. You know, we we've had a little bit of ups and downs and in, uh, in terms of timing and getting some podcasts out, but we're looking forward to getting back into regular podcasts, back into the three, the four of us. Once we get new Sam, old Sam, whichever Sam is available, <laughs> whichever one wins out. Hey, talk uh, about clones. <laughs> you know those clones we really didn't do a good job of keeping them in the same they're very different they, they didn't clone well as i'd have to say yeah right do Sam's. almost yeah a it was a real batch. nature versus nurture on that one one almost a bad batch if you will yeah one is uh <laughs> obsessed with star wars and one had never seen it yeah. and if that's not if that doesn't tell you nature versus nurture i don't know what will it's the grand experiment <laughs> yeah are there so did we talk at all and we've got only a few minutes left here uh, end of the Rangers of the New Republic. Not oh, happening. Oh, that has been that has been nixed. Yes, done for. Uh, not surprising, though. I feel very bad for the actor who was playing the other, um, you know, X-wing pilot who we saw in season two of The Mandalorian, who was, you know, talking to Cara Dune about, oh, we could really use you as yeah. an ambassador out here, and felt like he probably was going to get a pretty big role, you know. And now they've nixed that series. It really and... shows. It really highlights that. Um, racism, anti-Semitism, toxicity, all of the terribleness in the world doesn't only hurt the world, it hurts your co-workers. So <laughs> think true. about that. Yeah. Um, Though we're sort of spared because, honestly, what would if she's le- would have been leading a series, I can't imagine that being interesting enough. Sure, her standing there brooding and eventually hitting someone with the back of a blaster... Works yeah. fine as yeah. an ancillary character. Would have been, it would have been her and Bill Burr. Yeah, I have to. So I have to believe, you know, that that uh, the crew and the the cast. I'm sure the show wasn't even crewed up yet. But yeah, know, no, no. The, I'm hoping, you know, obviously, I want those people to be employed, very talented yeah. people involved in and uh, and crafts crafts people and everything. Uh, but you know, I'm confident that they'll find work else, elsewhere. And uh, you know, I don't think the world needed this show, and I it certainly didn't need that lead. So, um, so the yeah. Real, the real the, tragedy here is ta-da. will we will we ever see Ranger Wolf again, Dave Filoni's character? In oh yeah, that is swing pilot. Yeah, maybe they should have just pivoted and made Ranger. You know, maybe they're going to pivot and make it, like it Ranger a, Wolf. He is like now the head educational honcho, show so. for children. Ranger Wolf. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Hi kids, Ranger Wolf here to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> that Yeah. It's not co- it it may look fun on TV, but you shouldn't play right behind X-wing thrusters. <laughs> right, only you, you know. can prevent laser fire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Proton torpedoes are nothing to be trifled with. Yeah. Right. Um, wow. Hey, yeah. how about a little Tale of Darth Plagueis? Did I say proton? It's photon, right? Wow, proton. No, I think th- isn't it pro- isn't there a proton weapon? 
Yeah, I may be mixing up words. Uh-oh. My goodness. I'm, 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 I'm in my 30s. My brain is mush. <laughs> <laughs> Just a pile uh, of mashed potatoes. But, Chris, maybe Acolyte is going to be that Darth Plagueis. Oh, show. right. You know? We're still yeah. we're still waiting to see how that turns out. Hey, it's the story of Sheaves. After looking up what the word Acolyte meant, I realized that it probably is Darth Plagueis. Right? Hmm. I think so. Never heard the tale. Do we... I mean, like, do we think it's going to be... They're going to just, like, burn these out one after another. Like, we're not going to have a break from Star Wars series once they start going. Like, it's just going to be three months, next uh, one, three yes. months. Yeah. I think over the last year, I think they pressed the go button. Because now <laughs> there's, a, there's a streaming war about to happen. I think they're like, hey, <laughs> all right. They were kind of towing the water a little bit to be like, should we do the streaming? Do we do the movies? Are we missing out on one or the other? And I think after the success of The Mandalorian last year, I think now they're like, Never stop. It's, it's basically. And when you say streaming war, yes. you mean that lit- the employees of Amazon, Hulu, yes. Netflix, <laughs> Disney Plus mm-hmm. will be streaming their actual physical fighting. Yes, just yep. but in front of a computer by themselves. in the parking lot of the now abandoned ArcLight <laughs> Cinema <laughs> yeah, exactly. on Sunset Boulevard. Yes, exactly. You and mean and soon, soon to be AMC West and Blockbuster Videos, right? <laughs> Across this great country, Chris they'll be I, fighting on the carcass of every regal cinema they could find. <laughs> Chris, what, I think what you're trying to say yeah. is, begun the streaming wars have. Begun. <laughs> <laughs> you do um, the voice. You do the voice. It would be better than what. Was I that said. the horse that someone's riding? Begun <laughs> the streaming wars have. I I, I joke. <laughs> The it's horse. pretty solid. The Yoda it's horse. Pretty, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. good. It's just Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <All right>. yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> even even just a short little jolt of the droids yep. brings me back to Earth. Brings there me back go. into like the the pleasures of this podcast. We will be back next week to talk more and get into our wrap up of finally. The end of the High Republic, and soon the next book. I think it's what Into the Storm is the next book comes out uh, at the end of the month. I think there's been about three books since we started well, this book. But... We're, we're talking about the adult series. We're talking yeah. about the main. Uh, main is that why you're bringing it. up the pleasures of the podcast? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> and I think I think not to put any shade on the other books. I'm sure they're all great as well. But like for the pod, we pro- might we'll focus in on what we all have a chance to read. Probably not going to do chapters by chapter. But if you want us to do we'll just chapter do a breakdowns, review in a year. You want, <laughs> you want to do a chapter breakdown, let us know. Droidspot at gmail.com. Uh, that's where you can do the, the email to us and then reviews on iTunes. I think you're forgetting something with that email. Dro- uh, the, the Fallen Order playthrough? No, BCC. Oh, yeah. BCC. Everyone <laughs> at lucasfilm.com. <laughs> and do watch that Fallen Order playthrough on YouTube. <laughs> All right, that will do it. Thanks for joining the droids. Uh, I came in midway, but still, just I- I'm here all the way with you fellas. What they throw? Chris, you got to do it. And he. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <it felt> <laughs>